What's up, everybody? I'm Lee, and I'm sorry. The last tutorial of the basics of uh, Cinema 4D was very, very quick and basic. I'm trying to keep a 15-minute limit, you know, and I'm trying to jump, put as much into it, it as possible. But uh, I like to go over MoGraph. Just a few basics of MoGraph. Effectors, cloners, um, text. Uh, no, that Maybe I'll get into Fracture and uh, Most Blind. I don't know. But let's start off with you should know the basics. Go watch the basics first. Um, there's mo text. That's an automatic 3D text. I know I showed you guys how uh, if you go to text blind and then put it in an extrude nerves, you can make text. This is automatic. Boom, text. You could uh, mess with the settings and you know there's all all the settings. Hey, so <laughs> you just I like to press tab and it just it doesn't switch on the fly as you type in. You press tab. Change your font, whatever you want the font to be. Boom, but bada, bada, bada boom. There's so many fonts out there in the world. You could change the depth. You could change plenty more. Like caps, caps uh, are literally the caps of the object. And like I was telling you guys, ambient occlusion. Let me turn it off and show you the difference. I'm gonna use this picture viewer to render it. I render it without ambient occlusion, and then I'll go ahead and render it with ambient occlusion it takes longer for one and much longer actually depending on the scene but uh... it'd probably be better if I uh, showed you based on certain things. And I'll let that render for a second while I keep going and more. Motex, yeah, it's it's a easy way to quickly throw some text together now while I'm still in text I'll go and show you guys effectors. Effectors are awesome. You throw formula in there and it automatically starts being crazy. Wah! Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth because there's still a lot I don't know about some of these things. When you click a, a text you uh, uh, or any kind of MoGraph thing, there's effector, effects. Just like I showed you in the last one, you have to make sure it's in there. In letters, if you had formula in words instead of letters, then it would do the, do the whole words, which right now I only have one word. Let me take it out of letters. If I had two words, like, you suck, it'll do words instead of letters, like, you suck, you suck. You suck. You suck. And um, but that's that's that effector. How about that? <laughs> One of my favorite effectors is random. Random. There's a shader effector. Random effector. Literally, just um, you could randomize where things are in position, scale, and rotation, and many more stuff. Like, see, whoa. I'm randomizing a hell lot of stuff. Now, right there, that's not a real world use for it. And if you wanted real world uses, let me know. I'll go and make some real world stuff. Um, you could see the difference between not no ambient occlusion and ambient occlusion. You see the extra shadows around these areas when I put ambient occlusion on, off, on, off, on, off, off, on. Um, it looks a lot better with ambient occlusion. Now, the best, my favorite, is a cloner. A cloner does nothing alone, see? Nothing. But if you go ahead and take a, uh, say, anything, and you put it in the cloner, then it starts cloning it. You click the cloner, and you go change the settings. There's different modes. There's um, linear, object, radio, and then there's a grid array. <laughs> grid array. <laughs> no, I can't talk tonight. I think it's the alcohol. Render instances. Instead of rendering the actual product, it's just like Flash. It renders instances of the actual um, thing instead. You can change the count amount, and that's really cool what it's doing. Change the radius. You could change what um, plane it's on. Everything is animatable. You remember? You can start right here, end up right here, and it drag the timeline, and it animates that thing. I'm going to back up a little bit. Um, there's radio. It, it does, as it says, it makes it radial. Um, linear, it does as it says. You, I'm gonna want to change the offset. The amount right here is how fo how much it's going. If you have more, then you're gonna want to stretch it or do it apart. You could either do per step or in end point. End point, literally, as it says, it just uh, the more you put in, it'll stay on that end point. Then uh, per step, it actually gets bigger. And then there's grid array, which is super super cool. It makes a little grid. Right now it's 3x3x3. Three by three by three. You could push it out using the different attributes to change it. And you could fly for days in these grids. Fly for days, man. Then there's a... Say you have another object. Let's put another object in here. 
and then um, we're gonna take the spheres and make it much much smaller then there's a object you do object and you click this object and drag it an object right now it's it puts it puts the um, clones it on the vertices which is the points you could do it on the edges which it'll do every edge or you could just do surface which it just throws it randomly all over the place and you could put more and more and I still have ambient occlusion on remember look at the shadows so I'm rendering that out take a sip of beer so that that made that look like that <laughs> Now you could transform things and then you could put effectors on it. Like say we have a random effector and then we could make it randomize and freak out or whatever. Obviously rotation is not going to do any good because it's a um, circle. You could do size, make the size, randomize the size. If I just I just clicked it and automatically put it in there. If it doesn't put it in the effector for the cloner, you select the cloner and the layers or the objects and you just drag it in there. But it's there already. Now... Uh, let me go change this to grid to grid array and take the cube out. So now we're back to the little the grid part. Um, there are plenty more effectors. Inherent sound sound effectors cool. It literally affects it to to the music. If you had music, you put it in there and you could. I'm sure I have some music somewhere. I don't want to take the time out to search for a sound file. I didn't plan that. Um, this is just the quicks, the quicks, the quicks. Time, volume, inheritance, formula, delay. And I don't use too many of these just yet. So I don't know everything about them just yet. Shader, you could do color color shader. And um, if you have materials, you could it'll shade the color. Oh, and I got something really cool about MoGraph shader I want to show you guys in a second too. That I literally just yearned, learned today. I yearned. I yearned to learn. Tracer object is really cool. It literally makes splines that traces on the object that you have moving around. Um, if I move this object around, well, you know what? Right here on this time, right here on this time, and then right here, right there. And right now it's not tracing. Yeah. You want to put the cube in there. So when you move the cube, to yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be editable. That's how much I, I, I haven't been paying attention to learning. I mean, I know how to do it. I just don't do it enough, obviously. Connect all objects. You know what? Maybe I should go um, refigure the tracer object out more because I don't know it that great. But then that's that's the very basics of uh, MoGraph. But then there's uh, Dynamics. Dynamics that used to be just involved in MoGraph. Now it's totally involved to where we can drop a plane press T and scale it up then p take a cube and put a cube right here drop it in a cloner and make it grid array make the cube big smaller like that small and we can right click and do dynamics dynamics tags dynamic body enabled same well let's just do it with both you could or you can go to simulation dynamics create rigid body in the uh floor we want to go to dynamics and create a collider now if you press play goo goo oh wait it's not happening how i want it to well that's because you click the dynamic tag and the in um no 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 individual elements is on off top level second level and all now if you have multiple levels like something uh, like different levels underneath it you don't you could change that like if you have words or text and I could sh I'll show you that in a second but for this situation we're gonna wanna just put it on all and then we'll just replay that again and it'll make it well let me bring it back up again be careful because when you affect a f um, dynamic things it usually changes position sometimes so boom it fell remember you wanna render instances if you can because sometimes things go slow boom See, it's fallen. Let's fall in love. <laughs> okay. So like with text, if you have text and you put it in a MoGraph, I mean a cloner object. <laughs> Obviously, clones are crazy. Fuck, man. I'm sorry, cursing. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm making it smaller just to do the same thing. It'll, it'll affect the text the same way. 
See all the text is moving. Um, let's see. One last thing. Check this out. Say I have a video wall. <laughs> Say I have this one, this this TV screen or whatever. You, I mean, matter of fact, I'll make it differently. Say we have books. Say you have a bunch of books, and you want to um, first you want to make the model. I mean, it's very simple to make a simple book, right? Say that's a book, and you have a bunch of pictures. I'm gonna go and make. I'm gonna go take some random pictures. It won't be much. And you have a bunch of books. You want to put in a cloner object, and you want it to be a grid array and three on just actually three on just two axes right here that's the wrong two axes there we go let's make more than three six and six I'm gonna make it to where they almost touching not quite yet though so you have all these things and you um there's a really cool shader if you make a new material and you select the texture mo graph multi shader it's like multiple layers and it multiple and it and it shades each one so you drop you click it to drop into it let's select our first one and oh there's so many pictures i knew it'd be nuts let's cinema 4d texture credit cards no nope, there's only one <laughs> that might even be mine i'm not giving you that logos okay <laughs> the cock logo <laughs> oh what am I I'm crazy um, we'll go and put another logo the Batman logo then we'll add one more add and we'll put the uh, Superman logo now if we took that multi shader texture and drop it on here First, well, it doesn't look like you see anything different, right? It's just all Batman's right now. But if you render it, oh, oh pff, never mind. If you put a random effector and then render it, and I don't want uh, the random, well, not shader, I did. If you do a random effector instead of a shader, and you make sure the cloner has that effector selected, put it in there. Then if you go to the random effector and change color mode to on and ter turn all, all this off so it stays in the right spot, if you render it now, then it changes them all. And there's not a lot of Batmans in there. There's a lot of cock. <laughs> now you could change that by uh, in the multi-shader just switching. Say you want a lot of Batmans. You go to the shader and you could select a bitmap you already have. I want Batman logo there. And I want cock nugget over. Whoops, I already took the cock thing out. I guess that's for the best, but hey, let's put it back in there. Now when you do it, then obviously the Batman's more and then there's more I gotta there's more things I gotta play with to learn that. But that's really cool. A really cool way to make a big video wall. You could do video now. If you select this and you had a a animated GIF or a video or a sequence, you go into it and you you uh it's not gonna be anything right now, but you click uh calculate to do calculate the animation to make sure it's correct. Then you can come back over here and you see it all. They'll all play through the timeline as well and work just like whatever. <laughs> what a what the hell? Why do I got the cock thing on there? Didn't plan for that. Um, so that's a little bit about MoGraph and um, Dynamics. It's not too far because there's still a lot I got to learn. Maybe you guys could teach me something. <laughs> but this is for my friends that don't know nothing. This ain't for you guys that are advanced. So don't go laughing. Hey, you didn't teach me shit because I probably didn't go somewhere else um, but if you have any questions comments or concerns shoot them to me man peace